Hey guys, welcome to part 60 of this Valheim No Death run. So far we haven't died, which is good. And uh, we're just just having fun now, really, because uh, in terms of progression, there's not really that much more to do, apart from fight the, um, the Queen. Which, we're not really incentivized to do that, because the power that we get from her is not really that good. And... Like, it's a really risky fight, and there's definitely more that we can do to prepare. If it wasn't a no-death run, I'd just go and do it. Apart from the fact that I don't have the resources to do it, but... I'd work towards it, that is. But since it is a no-death run, and I've never fought her before... Uh, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna just keep um, leveling up our skills, keep getting more stuff, because that makes me happy. And hopefully you guys enjoy these adventures as well. Try to put some degree of risk in our adventures so that there is some threat of death. You know, if I just stay in the meadows now and just farm non-stop, I think that that would get boring pretty quick. So, this is what we're building over here with the black marble. Um, used a lot of black marble to get to this point, and then... What was that? Oh, that was the, um... That was this one here. But then we ran out and had to go get some more. Now, I went and got a lot more. If you have a look over here, we can see that there, there's tons of black marble in there, so that's good. But, I kind of know how far that gets us, which is not really that far. Um, we've got chickens in here, I'm not really hearing them anymore, so that must mean there must be hens now. Let's have a look. Yep. They're hens. Okay, let's go get the, uh, the thing and put them out of their misery. So there should be the full 20 in here, I don't think any of them got out. Seems about right. Yep, the full 20. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I know that worked out pretty damn nicely. Let me just repair the uh, thing here. We also haven't gone and visited our loxes in a while, but uh, I'm not too fussed on that right now. Okay, and just store all the chicken meat for the time being in here. Oh yeah, I've got hair meat here, right? And it's... I'm supposed to be storing the meats in their respective, like, pelt boxes. I don't know if I'm going to do this long term, but... I don't know, it helps to keep things somewhat organized. Right, I don't have many arrows left. We should go get some more. Can easily make more, got heaps of this stuff. Alright, I still need to move all this stuff away as well. But, I'm just thinking about it. Alright, what are we going to do today? We're going to start coming up with a plan or else we're just going to end up doing nothing, which is not good. Don't like being idle. So, never cleared out that frost cave. Actually, the, um, the feather cape would be really good for frost caves. Apart from those, like, pits where you can't actually get back up. <laughs> There's not that many of them, but uh, I believe they do exist. So apparently I never did that frost cave either. Uh, the only reason I'd really want to go in there is to get red jute so that I can make decorative items later down the track. Uh, not, not right this very second. So there's also tar pits that we could go and get to. Um, if I wanted tar, which we're fine for that at the moment. Um, but yeah, I'm leaning towards sorting out some more black marble. Why don't we go to the Dervager mining camp and have a look at uh, what's going on there. So let's eat this stuff here. Let's get a little bit more seeker meat because there's not much there. Two of those. No, that's not two. Alright, and let's get going. Okay, we're all rested up. Okay, teleporter 20 is actually inside. Yeah, they'll only seemingly drop about six and then they'll stop laying eggs. So I have to routinely go and pick them up. 
If I put the hens up really high, they will just keep dropping them over and over again. So that is something to consider. But I think we have to put them at least 10 meters high, so... Yeah, I'll think about that. It's not essential to do that right now, but let's... That is something to think about. Because, yeah, we have to find a way to automatically make the eggs just leave them. <laughs> Alright, here we are. Alright, I didn't bring any coal with me. And let's have a look over here. We should ha have our first little bits of sap from this one. Cool. And I'll come back and get it later. Okay, let's go. We're going to go down south to the Devager mining camp there, which... You know, I put an X through it because most of the resources were taken, as far as I was concerned. But let's just double check now that we're really not sure where to get some more stuff. Because, yeah, I mined it out a fair bit and I couldn't find a skull. But what if the skull is more... What if, there, what if there isn't a skull, first thing? That actually could be a possibility. See, all the rocks, they stayed here because of the uh, the workbench that we left behind. Oh, and that... Man, just live in that. That's actually good stuff. Why did I leave that there? So, fair bit of black marble here. Is this considered structure? Yeah, it is. So if I put a... Um, a uh, stone cutter here. I could just demolish that straight away. Still, let's uh, let's keep working with this and see what we can find here, if anything. Because what if there is a skull, but it's buried under the ground? And if not, then I'll just take the ribcage. Because it's quite possible that with this camp here, they. Um, They already mined the skull out. And that was what was in the boxes. But it wasn't that much. Okay, we're at sea level here as well. So I'm not really sure what more we can do in that regard. It doesn't look like there's a skull in this direction here. I guess I need to learn my uh, my frost giant anatomy. Where the hell does the head go? And which part of the rib cage is this? But yeah, if we can make this explode, it'll be worth a lot of black marble. I just wonder if it's actually worth the time, that's all. It might be better to go find another Derbiger outpost. But that being said as well, they're not exactly common. Neither of these... rib cages. See, we're starting to get it floating in midair. So we should be able to get some kind of explosion going with it. Make it all go boom. Now, I think it's night time at the moment. Easy way to check is look at the map. Yeah, it's pretty much night time, so we should be expecting some Seekers come and attack us real soon. Which we really don't want to fight them in here, so we need to make sure we make an easy run out of it that way. Okay. 
And do you know the funny thing is, I might do this and actually uncover a skull. Maybe. I'm sure there'll be a bunch of people be like, they already know, because they've done this before. And they just know there's no skull. But I don't, because this is the first Dervager camp that I ever uncovered. I've seen outpost. I've never seen a camp around a um, yeah, petrified bone. And I did see on the Reddit that there was somebody had like a skull. Oh, hang on, we got, we got incoming. Okay, wait for me to get out, and then we fight. Okay, I need stamina. No, oh, damn it! What did I do that for? At least it can fly out. Also, another thing about this rib cage, it is kind of on an angle. Come on, up here. Yeah, I think they can't fly when they're um, they got frosted. Come on, over here. Over here. There we go. Yeah, the more I look at this, the more I think I don't think there's a skull here. But I'll settle for the black marble. At least let's get a whole bunch of it. I don't know if I'll get every last bit of this uh, rib cage because I reckon it'll take a while. But let's just see what we can get out of it. Just uncover this last little bit of dirt and then we'll start actually mining the, uh, the rib cage. See if we can get it to explode. But I think part of the problem here is that part of it is actually touching the water. So I don't think that bit will ever explode. Careful here that I don't mine myself too deep and I won't be able to get out. Okay. Also, my pick is getting close to running out of durability. I could upgrade it if I want, I suppose. And uh, these structures over here, all we're going to do, I think, is just undermine underneath it and then they'll explode. Which is probably going to be quicker than actually smashing them. up loads of bloody stone. Let's go down a little bit more and get underneath it. Basically just recycle, essentially, all of this not being used resources. You know, recycle it, you know, back to our base. Okay, that should be, there we go. Chuck a little bit of stone down here because that's not what we came here for. Alright, now how are we going to deal with this? I'd say let's just start working on it as best we can. And just hope that we get a reasonable amount. 
of um, black marble for the amount of effort that's required to get it. Still a fair bit of dirt here. So when am I going to get myself a diamond pickaxe? I've got black metal, when, when do we get a diamond pickaxe? A little Minecraft joke. Which, I don't even play Minecraft. Not because I don't want to, but because I'd get too addicted to it. I mean, just look what happened here. Last little bit here, touching the dirt. Alright, and we'll start down here and just, just see if we can... Oh, watch out. Getting a bit too deep there. We'll just see how it goes. So, it seems like each little piece of um, petrified bone can yield about three... Two or three marbles, so that's not bad if we can get it all to explode all at once. So we have a look here, and we can see that this isn't touching anything now. I have to go get my stuff prepared. But this piece here is. Alright, we'll just take what we've uh, gotten so far. Uh oh. And go get uh, our stuff repaired. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, actually, I think I can get up this way. Yeah, yeah, we're fine, we're fine. Are we going for weight? Okay, take some of the stone with us. Yep, that's fine. And let's go. So, not particularly interesting. I get it. Would be good to fight some more um, seeker soldiers. We need to get that stuff. There are trophies because I want the option to be able to fight the the queen, even if I'm not really thinking of fighting the queen right now. Anyway, now, like I've said before, once this stone has been completely filled up, I'm not- I'm just gonna drop all instances of stone. Or maybe even just like, leave them in boxes somewhere. Stop here now. So, we got some stuff. It wasn't heaps. But we've only really just started harvesting that petrified bone, so we'll come back with a lot more this time. And it'll be a lot quicker. At least I hope. To bonus, refresh that. Just seeing what else we could potentially do. Could go exploring other islands. Could do that. Part of me wants to go and check out a snow cave again. It's been a while. Ah, uh, nope, we're going to go a different way. Are you kidding me, man? <laughs> How did I miss? How did I miss that? Oh, whatever. I guess that's why they call it a missed hair. <laughs> oh my god! How did I miss?
So you end up with a lot of copper in the um, this lens if you completely destroy these outposts. Too bad we don't make electronics, that copper would be quite useful. I wonder if they'll ever add that stuff. Like, remember when Ark was just like relatively primitive, where the most advanced technology was like guns, assault rifles? And then they added tech. I wonder if eventually this game will just keep getting developed more and more and more, and then there'll be bloody rocket launchers and electricity, refrigeration. Which, you know, why would you need it? Stuff doesn't expire anyway. Alright, let's keep going. Alright, smooth this out a little bit. That's much better. Seems like there is a significant chunk of the rib cage underneath the water that I'm just simply not going to be able to get to. But if we manage to break all the bones through here, then the upper level here should burst. Maybe. Of course, it also might just completely not work. Who knows? There's a lot of people that would like use a stamina potion in this sort of situation here, but if you do that, you'd go through all of your stamina potions so quickly, it'd just be such a waste. And I'm fairly sure that maximum stamina doesn't increase the rate of regeneration of your stamina at all. So you need those um, stamina regen potions. Lingering stamina potion. I'm not going to be able to get any further down on that, so let's just bust this up here. It kind of looked like a bit of like a tailbone, I suppose. I'm not sure. That bit there is all floating, but it's still connected to this bit here. I hear a creature coming. Actually, totally fine with fighting them down here now. Since it's daytime, it's probably just a no-star seeker. And even if it is a two-star, I got bone mass. Here it comes. Yeah, it's a no-star. Alright, it's, it's struggling to get up here. Oh, hang on. Hey, 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 that looks very nice. All good. Kind of looks like it's floating, but it might actually still be connected through this.
Okay, so at this point here, there is absolutely nothing about this ribcage that's touching the visible ground. That doesn't mean it's not touching in terms of the technical ground. Like, that might be touching that for all I know. Let me just see if I get rid of this. Yeah. That should explode. It's not touching anything. Oh, Alright, let's just start breaking things that are closer to the ground and see how long it takes us to explode this thing. Ah, I see. This one is sitting on top of that. That's why it's not exploding. Yeah, we're getting a bit of marble out of it. Here, another one on its way. Ah, oh, there. I think there's a um, dervager as well. Okay, we're starting to get some explosions. That's good. Stuff here might actually still technically be touching the ground. Okay, we're getting bits and pieces that are starting to explode. That's good. Just got to figure out what piece is actually touching the ground here. Yeah, it's floating. Back in a minute. Kind of feel like it's this, but I'm not sure. Yeah, hard time actually getting at it. Even by jumping, I can't reach it. That is a downside when we do this. I kind of feel like this is something to do with it. If I could demolish this piece here. Yeah, there's the problem. Let's slide off. Should have destroyed this first in hindsight. <laughs> Great. Oh, I'm going to do this. Like this. This seems to be the safest way to do it now. Yeah, let me try to get that third hit in. That's it. That's the one that does all the damage. Save game lag. Yeah, this stuff's got ridiculous amounts of health. Uh, what am, why don't I try this one here? I can kind of stand still when I attack. Yeah. Yeah, that works. Oh, no, I don't. Only if I, only the first attack doesn't move. Just 
Still decent damage. God, that's so much health. But I have a feeling that's touching the ground, and then this thing is touching it, and so it's providing it stability. So yeah, I know there's a seeker here. Finish what I was doing. Nope, doesn't want to let me. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Come on. What are you doing? Come fuck me over here. Hey, what if I could attack it from here? Okay, this kind of works, as long as I don't do a second attack. Oh my god, how much health does it have? Yeah, I don't have the ability to demolish that. There we go. Okay. get this to explode. Oh, look at all the mist starting to come back as well. Mm. Yeah, I don't know, just, um... That just isn't really working, is it? I mean, it's completely floating, but some part of it is still touching the ground. So I'll just have to just smash the whole thing and we'll just see how we go. Take, take it apart in bits and pieces, rather than try to get the whole thing exploding. Because, yeah, the problem here is that I have no idea what's connecting it to the ground. Absolutely no clue. Yeah, that'll happen. Could be this pit right here. No idea. <laughs> Keep jumping at it. Oh, I need stamina. Could use wood as scaffolding to, um, like stand on boxes essentially. Yeah, I might do that actually. How much wood do we have here? Uh, didn't I leave some wood right up here? Oh, I destroyed my box. Bastard. Okay. Now, let's build something to stand on. I mean, we could even just stand on one wall. Like this. Like this. And use that as sort of scaffolding. <laughs> okay, that, that isn't working there. Ah, dug too deep there. Come on, get me out. Why is that so damn difficult for him? Oh, f Come on. It's yeah, I gotta get that workbench a bit closer. Yeah, 
Yeah, this bit when this kind of stuff happens can be such a pain. Yeah, work with that. There we go. That must have been the piece that was doing it. Bit of perseverance pays off. Alright, now there's likely still... Yeah, there's still pieces of it underneath there. But we can now safely... Actually, just remove that entirely. It's no longer a Dervager mining camp. Okay, so I've got... Alright, let's go get the portal and bring it back over here. I'm just going to toss the stuff down here. Because that'll be a lot quicker than constantly delivering the stuff up here. Let's bring the portal down there. What's this? Right, I thought there was a Dervager fight. Of course, I'll bring the, uh, the the teleporter back. Now, in terms of how much uh, resources we got out of that, that's probably nowhere near as much as um, as the actual outpost. Not even close. And just take a couple of trips to put them in the boxes. But what do we do next? We go looking for another Mistlands. Maybe spend what we've got of the Black Marble, because we're now having... Hang on, did I hear a troll? I hear something. Oh, what the biscuit? Yeah, there's a troll over there. <laughs> oh, what happened over here? stuff. Hmm, it's poking its head out a little bit more than it was before. But now's not really a good time to do that when I've got, like, next to no strength left on the, I think. So yeah, burying that's going to be a little bit more tricky than I thought, but I'm sure we'll manage. Now, if we ever wanted to fight Yaglith again, it'd actually be quite easy. All I need to do is make sure I got plenty of barley wine. I'm just thinking if I ever wanted to get a like more wisps, which well, not even more wisps, but wisps faster, which uh, I don't know. I don't really I don't see the point in that.
Well, full box of black marble. Now for the second box. There's a big piece of black marble there. Yep, got it. Good. Try to make sure none of it goes to waste. But yeah, once we're done with here, let's let's continue constructing. It should be daytime soon. Let's keep building. See, I've got an idea of what I want this base to be. Uh, where am I? All right. And it currently is nowhere near that point. Not even close. If you're gonna have a really long game of this, yeah, you gotta you gotta think big. I mean, you could very easily survive in a quite a small hut or house even, and that's not a problem for those of uh, you know medium ambition. But I want to live in a grand castle. I'm kind of inspired by the things that PewDiePie did in his, like, Minecraft run. Make, like, ridiculous mega structures, but... I imagine that'll take so long getting all those resources. It depends on what you want to make it out of. If you want to make it out of wood, it's easy enough. But then again, how tall do you want to make it? Because there's a limit to how tall you can get it. Alright, we'll take the, uh, the copper back in a sec. This is the last trip. Uh, I don't mean take the cup back through the teleport, take it back to the boxes. So yeah, in terms of like overall hauls, that was meh. For the amount of time spent, kind of meh. But it was safe. It was safe. We had already, we had done all the work. Killing the Dervages. Spend more time killing the Dervages, that's for sure. Well, trying to get other things to kill them. Alright, as far as I'm concerned, this here is done. I'm really not too concerned about demolishing those because they remove the mist in the area, so that's actually really handy. Kind of regret demolishing the one that was here. And because the Seekers don't really try to destroy them. We got iron there as well if we need it. Haven't really been marking them on the map too often. Oh, uh, no, this is 20. What are we doing? And that comes back with us. There should be some more over here for us to get. And yeah, this will definitely be fading. Progress we don't come back here for a while. So, let's start construction. It's just start raining, that's fine. It'll be raining when we get back as well. Pretty sure it's the same weather no matter where you go. Alright, got a little bit of wood to put away. Now, why don't we grab some soft tissue and quickly go and sort out some refined hydro. It's interesting, you can put this stuff on the ground everywhere and it like sh it just shoots out bits of magic. It's quite unstable. 
You could potentially use that as base defense, but I think that the best base defense is actually um, workbenches. You just put them in a really long radius around your base so that nothing spawns there. Okay. Got a decent amount of refined item now. I'm um, not in any rush to spend it just yet. But if we were to spend it, if we were to spend it, looking at some of these things here. So that is an axe, I believe, the Jotun Bane. Looking at the difference here. Um, has less slash damage, but more poison damage. D would that mean that it's better against uh, like trees? I don't think so. Because I think that slash damage is what counts there. I again, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but it would be better as a, like an attack weapon. But I don't think axes are that great for that. This one here is a, like a spear. No, it, it's like a two-handed um, pole, pole arm. So looking at that one. Look, this is only a rank one as well. Pierce 105 compared to Pierce 85 and Lightning 40. So that will be really useful if anything's wet. That could be also good for stunning them if that... Um, yeah, it could be good against, um, what's it called, uh, Seekers. Uh, Spine Snap. So, looking at this one, don't forget we can only upgrade it one time. So, PS72 to PS56, but the biggest problem here is the draw stamina. It just uses up too much stamina. So, while you'll get a bit of extra damage, I just don't think it's better than the Draugafang. Not really. Um, the Arbalest, that's if you really want a lot of damage, that doesn't require the, um, that doesn't require the, uh, Eider, though. But yeah, lots of pierce damage. It requires a whole nother skill set, which we'd have to essentially start from scratch from. But it's very slow, which is why I haven't really gone with that. Um, it's not bad at all, just didn't see it as a priority. Could get a shield, haven't had a shield in a while. I haven't really needed it either. Um, I think I'm pretty good with dodging. Demolisher. This one here I think is quite interesting. We could, um... Yeah, that's that's a very interesting weapon. That spear there is pretty good. Better than what the other spears that we could have made in the game. And if we have a look here, it's uh, 115, and this one here is 105. So we could probably get this one here st um, stronger. Well, it would be stronger without it requiring two hands. The only thing is the um, the middle mouse button attack with the black metal at gear is way better than the middle mouse button for this one because it just tosses it. You have to go pick it back up and it's fine. But we mainly have that one for uh, dealing with... Um, uh, what's it called? Ticks. Now, as for the Mistwalker, I've never used that before, but I am thinking about it because apparently it slices through mist. You could maybe use that as a wisp, so you don't don't actually need the, the wisp light anymore. I don't know. I have no idea if that's how it works. In terms of resources, the main one is just refined eider. I mean, give it a shot. Um, if I have a look at the damage differences between Miss Walker and uh, this one. So, uses frost damage. That's good. Um, slash is lower, significantly lower. Uh, use stamina. Use up a little bit more. Its block armor is a bit better. Weighs the same. Durability 200 compared to 350. Alright, let's make the Mistwalker. So, 15 iron. Yep, yep. Okay. That's all pretty easy. Got three wisps for me here. There's like three of that? I can't remember actually. So we need 15 iron. And 10 of this. I think that's what we need. Yeah. Alright, let's 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 have a look at what this does. Now upgrading it, let's have a look. 
So, in terms of damage, the slash damage doesn't go up. Only... Oh, hang on, this is interesting. The... Frost damage goes up, but it also gains spirit damage. That's interesting. A new damage type is added to it. So it actually gains 11 extra damage. That's interesting. Okay, the cost on that is not that bad. It's um, like 5, and I can actually get it. It was like 10 of this, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay, upgrading it again, not possible until content comes out, but... Yeah, that's interesting. Okay, now, let's see how it goes. I'm going to put the other sword away for a bit, and I'm also going to put this away. Okay, I'll go back into the uh, mistlands and we'll see if this actually makes it, it, the mist go away. Just out of curiosity. If it doesn't, then I'll still keep it because it does overall more damage and frost damage is very useful. There's very few things in the game that are actually uh, strong against frost, mostly in the mountains. Going to right now. Where did I pick that st stuff up? Um, whatever, I'll just put it in the box. Okay. And let's repair a few things and test this out. Alright, but which miss lane do we want to go to? Do we want to go to Teleporter 20, 17, or 16? Could work on this. That would be fairly quick. As long as I bring the right stuff. I need to bring the Teleporter with me. And Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's go to Teleporter 20. Let's do it. I did say as well that we were going to um, build up the base, but I'll do that in a minute. <laughs> we'll see. Alright, so if I have this up, let's see how it pushes the mist away. It does, yeah, it does. Yeah, it's about the same as a as a wisp light, maybe a little bit less. Yeah. Yeah. It does do it. Okay, that was interesting. Alright. Yeah, just leave that be. Alright, we're gonna take the workbench here. And the stone cutter doesn't exist here anymore, does it? Um, we should get eight of that back. Yeah, we got it all back. Oh, we got incoming. Oh, let's test it out the new sword. alright. Alright, we've got everything we need. Don't take the fine wood. Oh, I can't fit it in here. Well, I don't. I can't leave it on the ground either, so I'm gonna need to put, put this back. I need to make another block, so that means I need some wood. Okay, I don't need... I should keep that there, just in case that gets destroyed. That way the stuff doesn't get... Removed. I need to just chop down a couple of trees. I'll take a moment. But 
But yeah, I guess using this sword you could run around with the um, with the belt. So that's something we could consider if hauling a lot of resources around. But in terms of damage, it seems to be pretty much about the same as Frostner at the moment. But at least the resources required to make it wasn't that intensive. It was like 25 iron. That's not a big deal. Might also have a bit more reach than Frostner, which is definitely a good thing. Could actually get one of those better boxes. Yeah, don't worry about that. Okay, just put this stuff in here. Wait, we need some of the stone, don't we? Because I need to make the stone cutter. I also need wood. I'll get wood on the way, it's, it's fine. Uh, should I... Actually, I should pick up the teleporter and take it with me. I'm going for wait. Yeah, we're fine. So if we use both the Wisp Light and the Sword, then maybe that's a little bit better at dealing with the Mist. Maybe. Oh, there's this here as well. Never made a note of this. Oh my god, it's a... I never even noticed it. There's a temple here. I never... I never went in here. Huh. Okay, well, how are we going for... Well, I'm carrying loads of crap. Okay, look. This is this is a black marble zone anyway, so let me just get the stuff down. How did I miss this? <laughs> fine, it's fine by me. And also, okay, I'm just missing some wood. Um, that needs to be twenty. Just need to get a little bit of wood. Uh, that's that'll be fine. Need one more wood. I'm gonna get that. We should probably mark this on the map here. I can't believe I missed this. Yeah, we marked that um, that skeleton there. I already cleared that one out. There we go. That's what we need. Just a little bit of wood. Is that the one that's fading? Yeah, yeah. And this is the one I already mined out. Yeah. Alright, let's go check this out. I can't believe I missed this one. Man, this Mistland here was definitely the best out of all of them that we've visited so far. In fact, all of them I've visited, period, in all other worlds as well. Uh, I'd usually like to bring my barrier for this, for this stuff. Yeah, okay, let's, let's go get the barrier. Could raise skeletons as well, even inside there, because you don't actually need to be outside the world, but, yeah, they're not useful against, um, against this at all. Alright, so, we're going to take the, this one here. Put away a couple of things. Need to get some magic mushrooms. OK. 
Okay, the mushroom, mushroom's there. Let's just take I don't know, three. Put away this. Yeah, okay. Ah, okay. I actually can't eat this yet. Well, let's I'll be able to eat it in a in a minute. It won't take long. We don't have to have the barrier down right this very second. We'll get a bit of a lay of what the situation here is. Can't believe I missed this. Yeah, I haven't been here before. Okay. Alright, that looks good. There's always one of those pits down there. But they never break through here, which means they can only come up through this way. Okay, that's fine. I do like royal jelly. It's a really useful resource. So yeah, they've got these like derviger lamps up there, but if you destroy it. Managed to destroy it. Oh, you did. No, they just gave us certain core. And copper scrap. Okay, not a big deal. Might even toss out that copper scrap. Ah, well, I'll just keep it with me until I don't need it anymore. Well, until I um, have something else to put in my inventory. Alright, let's check up through here. Okay, is that is that stuff that I don't like? I think that's stuff I don't like. I think I saw a tick that was like, blue. Okay, yeah. It's only a one star. That shouldn't be too bad. Oh man, don't, don't let me go near a two star. Well, I guess barrier will help a fair bit. Good. Okay, just went downstairs. That's okay. Ben, I am not used to AI being able to pathfind at all. It's fine. Coming down here is not a problem. Oh, great. How am I going to get back up? Oh, good. Did he get some blood stuff? Yeah, there it is. Alright, cool. Let's sort that out. Okay, now we can have this. And do this. Oh, I just need to regenerate. Uh, uh. Hang on. So you don't do it in the middle of a fight. Hang on. This will be fine here. Here we go. We're okay. Oh, good. And we still got our barrier up. Nice. That worked out pretty well. Any more? Yep, there's another one there. Don't like fighting them in that sort of area, so why don't we shoot it? I think there's a soldier down there. Nope, just regular seekers. How are we going? Yeah, that we should be fine to handle it. Yeah, 
barrier. Really bloody helpful. Good stuff. Saved us from two hits there. So currently it's providing us with 285 shield. I don't need more black cores, but I'll take them. Okay, there's a seal breaker. That's good. Yeah, you gotta watch out for that kind of crap. Two seal breakers. That's the last that we need. Seal breakers. Okay, there's the soldier that I was hearing. Okay, let me just refresh this. Alright, this seems like an okay place to fight it. Basically, pop it. Oof. Oof. Okay, hang on. Let me redo this. Uh, this is actually not a good place to fight it. Oh, got rid of my shield. Okay, don't reject. Oh no, it didn't. Get around it. We're okay. We're okay. Shield up. We're okay. Just trying to regenerate a little bit of health before I go in. Kill. Got it. Good. Oh, that's a little bit of a concern. Those guys are so easy to fight up in the surface, but down here where it's all cramped, I can't get around them as well. I guess this is where blocking would actually be better than dodging. Because dodging, you really do need some space. Okay. Well, there's a whole bunch of this stuff up on the roof, which can just give us a tiny bit of royal jelly. But typically speaking, don't expect much out of it. Yeah, I should probably actually kill these things. Oh, this would where be where having the elemental power would be useful. Hmm. Alright, next time we come into a infested mine, I'll try to make sure I've got a um fireballer or whatever it is. Yeah, we're getting royal jelly. Every bit counts. Alright, I think that's all of them. Another one of these. Yeah. Yeah, you don't actually get the uh, the material for it. 
Uh, the, the actual arm. That, that being said, I think these, in order to make it, is a certain core and a copper, so it actually do, does give it to you. The thing is, the lamp, I could take that through a teleporter, but the copper scrap, I can't. Oh, why did I not pick that up? Okay, that's that section done. All we need to do now is go through here. Hang on, my barrier has expired. Bone mass? Yeah, it's probably bone mass worthy. Let me just clear this out first. Because they're not going to break through that. Because, yeah, one here that's going to break through my barrier. Alright, bone mass. Let's do this. Yeah, this is what's needed. It's only one star. Didn't mean to do that. Quick. Good. Good, good, good. Yeah, the barrier is really good against them. We're going for weight. Yep, plenty of weight. Not too many inventory slots left, but I don't need these. God, it was a two star. <laughs> uh, I'm glad I had the barrier there. Got through it pretty quickly. Oh, oh my god, those are scary as hell. God, I'm glad I had that barrier. Because, yeah, they. If we remember the last time, they got through about 200 health of my... Well, I, I think I had 180 health. They got through about 140 of my health in a matter of seconds. I'm not sure if bone mass helped us out against um, them either. Okay, it might be a good idea to actually refresh my foods a little bit. My max health was getting a bit low. Seekers down here. Well, I got barrier and oh, it's one star seeker. Focus on this one first. Well, it did one hit didn't break through the uh, barrier. I gotta get more barrier still. Well, we already know where the queen is. Yeah, that's not where we already thought it was. And we still don't have any of the Seeker Soldier trophies. We didn't find any, like, hidden pathways. Right, I didn't go that way either. 
done yet. Okay, ticks. It's okay. As long as there's no two stars, I'm fine. Oh, another one. What's the point in having two in one location? We got bone mass for a minute, we're okay. Oh god, that's a lot of seekers. Yeah, don't let them cut through here. I got health potions if I need it. You're not coming through here. is just about to expire. So yeah, the barrier here seems like it can take about three hits from a seeker before it bursts. That's not bad. Let's refresh it because I already got hit. Okay. I think we're at the end here. Yep, I think that's it. There's nothing else to do in this particular infested mine. Everything's been killed. Everything's been obtained. I think. Yeah. It, this is cleared. But a reasonable haul. Not too many black cores, but I don't really need that so much. Um, Royal Jelly's good. And we got the seal breakers that we needed. Which means... At this point here, I do not ever need to do another um, infested mine if I don't want to. I'm glad I brought this barrier. Because, yeah, if I had, like, bashed through that area, because it uses up my stamina bashing through that area, and then the thing latched onto me and I didn't have bone mass, that actually might have killed me. And how are we going for blood magic? Yeah, still at 17. Didn't gain that much experience, but given how much of a lifesaver it is, I really feel like I need to spend some time leveling it up. So, I think what I'm going to do, because I've been tossing around this idea for a little while, is do some playtime without recording. Where all I'm doing is just leveling up the um, the blood magic. That's it. And the thing is, it'll be probably several hours. But the thing is, I just don't want to bore you guys. And you guys already saw what it, what's involved. You just go to the um, Grey Dwarf spawning point and then just basically sit there as the skeletons just do their thing for several hours, really. Uh, I also saw a technique from another Valheim YouTuber in terms of this. He, he has an even better way of doing it, where you use... Um, oh, i got to remember this guy's name. It's like Fireblight or something. Um, he's kind of like the biggest of the... Um, as far as I can tell, of the Valheim YouTubers. But he has a really good technique for um, leveling up blood magic, and I think I might do that and just AFK it. It's, it's very good. I don't know if he came up with it, but very, very good. But I think that's what I'll do between this episode and the next, is just get the blood magic leveled up, because... Oh my god. Blood magic is just a lifesaver, but it is also such a pain to level up. And the... Um, the return on what you level up is just so good. Like, it'll make our barriers so much stronger. It'll be able to handle hits from two-star creatures. If I have a, a fully upgraded barrier and we encounter a um, two-star tick, it's going to take forever for it to break through it. Give me so much time to, like, get rid of it. 
because they take two hits to kill. All right, did we get it all? This one here is a little bit iffy in terms of inclines, so I need to lower this area here. Yeah, that works out pretty well there. Okay. Now we've got to start getting this marble back to base. But maybe let's do this. Wait, did I actually get everything? No, I didn't. Look. Yeah, sometimes there's sneaky bits of black marble down here. Oh, I'm going to this. I think that's all of it. See, now what I could do is demolish this. Take the, uh, the wood and... Yeah, just the wood. Pop that in there. Along with all this other sort of stuff. And let's just get this all into the box for now. Super heavy. What's weighing me down? Oh, okay, that's weighing me down. It's pretty heavy. Okay. Yeah, there was like double rewards there. Not only did we find an infested mine full of stuff, but also all this black marble. Okay, I'm running out of space. I gotta take some of this back home. But yeah, I'll uh, try to find the name of that YouTuber. I, th I think it's Fireblight something. Um, and give him credit for the uh, what I'm going to do with the blood magic. And let you know how it actually uh, works out. Because yeah, I think it was a really good idea to... You like create this barricade. And... Let's see what break is going here. Create this barricade... Uh, like this... Um, structure and then you put yourself in between that structure sorry you put the skeleton archers on top of the structure and you put yourself in a like a box above like on a tree or something where the gray dwarves can't hit you and they can't actually throw a rock at well they don't throw rocks at you and if they did it would take forever for them to kill it and the archers just are given free reign to keep shooting. And you don't even need to put the, um, the barrier on them because the other creatures don't even try to attack them. I thought it was just really clever. Now, there's no guarantee that I'll be at level 100 blood magic by the time we uh, get to the next episode, but it'll be... I can pretty much guarantee that it's going to be significantly improved. Like, I'll keep an eye on it for a little bit, but if it looks like everything is just safe... I, get, I guess another thing to keep in mind is that if an event shows up, like trolls show up, um, I should probably be monitoring it. But what I could do is just, like, watch Netflix or whatever while what's going on and... It'd be pretty funny if I AFK and get killed. Alright, let's go get the other stuff.
Yeah, this is more black marble than we got from the uh, from the skeleton. There's a bit of a gap in there. It doesn't look perfect. It's not completely flush. Aesthetics. Whatever. When I empty all the boxes, maybe I'll I'll rejig it. But don't worry about it right now. And then as for the copper, we'll just put that at our um, designated teleporter twenty spot. Funny thing here is that we were actually on our way over to here. I just, I just missed this. Didn't even see it. resources all right so we should make a note of that as well oh hang on, hang on, hang on. and then just put that there that way we know where it is but we we know also know it's been cleared out Alright, I think that's all the materials. Every last bit of it. Okay. Alright, let's take back everything that can be taken back. And then start getting this stuff back over to the other location which is you know really close by but then we start wrapping up the episode and i'll i'll get that blood match well maybe maybe i'll showcase what it is we're gonna do i don't know all right it'll probably take quite a while to get it sorted and i could probably use a break maybe do it a bit later Well, we've got enough to make another black forge if we really needed to. I don't know why we would. Probably good. No sense in just like tossing it out. I can store them easily enough. They stack to 20, so that's easy. 11 blood clots. clots. That's awesome. Alright, let's go finish up what we were doing there. Might take two trips to get all the uh, copper back, because it looks like it was a fair bit. Yeah. Yeah, it'll take two trips. Okay. Oh, might even take three trips. i got to bring this back as well. Um... Well, I'll just, I'll just come back for that. I can't believe all this time, like I was walking around here, I never saw that infested mine. You gotta wonder how much stuff you miss in the Mistlands because of the goddamn mist. I'm not gonna eat another one of those right now. Although that does leave me with very low health. Alright, fine. You want- Oh, I put the thing away! I was gonna use the barrier. Um, that leaves me with low health. Alright, how about you just defend me? How's that sound? Yeah, I won't have enough to get all the stuff back. I was going to kill that Dervijo, but then I thought it just wasn't really worth the risk. Why not? There's 
There's plenty of resources around here if we want to fill up some boxes. Are you kidding me? Something's here. Sounds like a Seeker Soldier. Which at least I can dodge them easily enough. You want to go fight that? Sounds like it's over there. Because, yeah, I got magic, but I don't have my... My, uh... My, what's it called? My staff. I put it away. Because I'm silly. I can hear it's around here. Yeah, there it is. It's making noise. Can't sneak a boy, come over here. No stars? Okay, that, that shouldn't be a problem. Let's bring it over to the Dervager and see what they can do. You wanna come and help us out? Yeah, you're gonna get killed if you keep that up. Get it, it's abdomen there. Oh well. This is pretty much ideal place to fight it, so. Don't need bone mass or anything. It's It didn't hit me once. Look at that, skill and club's 99 now. Oh well. Thanks for the gold. Would have preferred soft tissue though. pretty funny how these um, dervages, they have no idea of the crimes that I've committed against their race. Dead men tell no tales. Okay. Did I take the 20 stone back with me? I must have. Oh well, I'll just leave this behind. That's for the, um... Uh, for the, uh, the smelter. Which, we don't need to work on that right now. Alright, well the next step for me is a actual episode where I don't record, and I don't know how long I'll spend doing it, but I need to get the blood magic leveled up, which means serious grind, and I just, we already had like half an episode of that, you guys know what's involved. Um, when we come back to it, I will be much better at blood magic. That's all I can really say about that. Okay, put away this last thing. I don't know if it'll be at level 100, because I don't know how long that takes to do, but it will be a lot better. Anyway, that's the end of this episode here, guys. There will be a time jump between this episode and the next. I don't think I'm going to be in any danger whatsoever in the, in the next episode. So, I don't think you're going to miss out on anything whatsoever. It's just going to be me sitting up in a tree, uh, just watching as my skeletons shoot Grey Dwarfs for probably several hours until uh, my blood magic is high enough that I'm like, yep, that barrier is going to massively protect us. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Appreciate you guys, and we'll see you next time. Later, guys.